Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Crusader Kings 3. Welcome back to episode 3 of A Conqueror's Legacy. And as you might sort of uh, notice here, things are a little bit different and that's because I had to kind of create a new save so that I could make those, uh, make those unique thumbnails every time. It's a bit of something to do with the, uh, the debug mode and all that. But I was sort of forced to do this if I wanted to make those uh, unique action pose kind of thumbnails, which I think are very nice. So I went ahead. We only played around like six years into the campaign anyway, maybe like eight. So I didn't feel too bad about just redoing it. So we're back where we are. We took over England. We fought off Norway and we're ready to go pretty much. I'm hoping we're going to get some uh, get up to some shenanigans today. Like invading Wales or something, or Scotland, maybe. But of course, we have some characters to deal with here. So, a shady discussion. Hmm. You're passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a softer breeze carries the voices of William and Ordric to my ear. Let's see. They're looking a little nervous. What are you talking about? It relates to him, at least. Hmm. Well, they're going to be disappointed in me, but the Count would like me a little bit better. My half-brother, hmm. How about... How about I warn him, just in case. Wouldn't want anything too bad to happen to him, so... We're gonna see if all that's gonna work out. Also, I did discover, in the end, how to move your, uh, how to move your capital. We go over here to our little uh, holding here, the where you know where we want to move it, and we just hit that move realm capital here, which you know sort of obvious. I definitely should have checked, but there we go. Now we can move our capital to London, Londres, actually, and we can embrace English culture, which is great. Now something's up with the achievements where sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Uh, in this case, I turned Iron Man off for the save just in case. Because a lot of these very specific ones, as a character, do this, do that, kind of break if you don't do them all at the same time, so. We're still going to become English, though. So, Norman no more. The time has come when we Normans considered France our homeland has long since passed. I don't know if I said that right. Our children are born here surrounded by Saxons, and to them Normandy will only ever be a blurred line between the misty shores of Britannia. And, as we make some of the local customs our own, so too the legacy of our culture spreads throughout the Saxon lands, giving birth to a new English identity. So, I adopt the English culture, my queen adopts the culture, and all my family and all my Norman or French culture vassals should. It's not necessarily certain that all of my direct vassals will, but the culture... There we go. We see a bit of a bit of English here. It looks like none of them actually changed, which is interesting. I think that said it had like a 40% chance, but literally not one county changed. Well, isn't that neat? Anyways, we're going to have to convert a lot of these, promote a lot of this to English. Six years per? Oh, that's going to take a little while. But a lot of my vassals should actually do it themselves. Are you English? You're Norman. You're Norman. You're Norman. Everyone's Norman. Okay, that's actually not cool at all. I would like to... I would like to change you to English, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, likely not. I don't think we're going to have English leaders around here for a while. A lot of Normans, obviously, because those are the ones that I've assigned here. And then we have Anglo-Saxon. Uh, you're my vassal, but you're fighting a bit of a war here. Looks like these guys are vying for independence from you, so... Well, hopefully they win, actually. I'd like to see your control lessened. There we go. Okay, so can I... Can I revoke? I can retract a vassal. I can literally just steal a vassal from them. Hmm... She's not very likely to accept, though. Bit of a shame. I'd have to improve her opinion of me, but she's like six, so I don't think she cares enough. <sighs> well, it is what it is. 
We're currently fabricating a claim over here in Wales, trying to grab the exact same land that we had last time. Cecilia comes of age, which is nice. You're going to grow up pretty quick. You become a brilliant strategist and reckless. Hmm, bit of a double-edged sword on that one. I don't know, can... I don't think women can become knights, though, can they? I don't feel like they can. Huh, so I don't think it matters very much, does it? Oh well, then. Alright, I'm trying to sway my archbishop right now, because he doesn't like me very much. Let's go with empathy and kind heart. That's something that a bishop would like, right? Yes, of course, there we go. Bit of opinion, and we're increasing the scheme chance. Oh, and I'm now the cultural head of the English culture. I can't exactly imagine who would who would have been before me, considering we just created the English culture, but you know what? Sure, it works. So, early medieval, we're sitting at hereditary. High medieval, we're going to have to wait until... Oh, we have to wait until we actually reach it. Oh, that could take a long time, huh? Oh boy, that could take a long time. Okay, well, for now... How about we grab... I'm not even sure. Chronicle writing seems important, I think. Individual de jour duchy casus belli. Yeah, that seems like it's pretty important. Punishment did not fit the crime. Just? What else do we have here? Cynical and temperate. Let's go with just. Why not? And a new perk for Marshall. Development. Uh, am I going to conquer right now? Probably. I'm just looking at this real quick. Do I want gallant? Yeah, monthly prestige is nice. So maybe I do want gallant. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Let me see if I can raise the uh, the levies real quick. And I'm going to split off these guys. You don't need to be risen up. Uh, low quality. Oh, right. Yes, of course. So we're going to split off the special ones in theory. Huh. Does, does that actually work? I don't think it does. Let's try that one again. Split off a new army. But can it just be levies? Oh, this is a cancer way to do things. I would like to simply move the levies over, but you know what? I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm trying to regain levies without spending so much money, but... It's kind of hard to do when these guys refuse to uh, stand down. I'm not going to destroy them, but... Can I maybe... Split off the hired ones and special ones. And then we just get levies again. Okay, well we can disband those. And we have these guys, which are going to reinforce a lot more, so that's fine. A duel? Hmm, okay, let's see what's going on here. The great duelist, my vassal, Mayor Claremond. Claremond? Maybe. Has arrived at a court with a bandaged arm and fear in her eyes. She tells me that my daughter Cecilia has been challenging people to duels? Excuse me. <laughs> that's... that's... That's ridiculous. What's... Why would you do that? What's the point of that? Ah, uh, okay. Well, I have a 92% chance... To win. And she won't duel anymore. Hopefully she doesn't get wounded. That would be very un uh, unfortunate. Oh. Hmm. I dueled, and, I mean, she lost a little a little harder than expected. Eh, at least she's not dueling anyone anymore. <laughs> not for a while. Okay, anyways, we can get ourselves an unpressed claim. I don't see why not. It's stupid expensive. But I'll take it. Claims are claims. So, let's declare war on you. With said claim, you have one ally, lordship of something in the middle of nowhere. Okay, that's fine. Let's raise these guys real quick. Send you over here. Okay. Should be a very easy conquest. 
Send for a physician. Yeah, that's probably a really good idea, actually. Mm hmm. Or perhaps I can make my. Oh, tch. my archbishop is terrible at his job. So you have 16 and you have. Okay, I suppose John would be allowed to. to come here. I mean, he does have 16 learning. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure learning is good on. Yeah, that would be on health and stuff, right? Don't suppose anything else would increase that, so... I'm gonna go with him, because he has an extra six levels of learning. Get back here. And Jean is a, ooh, a renowned physician. Not bad, an extra four learning. Okay, pretty good. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Bop. And we get to go and siege that down real quick. I can ransom some people. Yeah, I will. I kind of need the money right now. Uh, Cecilia can be married. Looks like she's all better now. Very nice. I can ally the Kingdom of Sweden. Ooh. I've already allied the Kingdom of Denmark, just like last time. But the, the Kingdom of Sweden doesn't seem so bad. Don't suppose I can... Yeah, I can't marry matrilineally, though. Well, that's okay. That is a huge alliance, so I think I will take that. Just this case, I think I will. There we go. So, I have some... Ooh. Well, this is interesting. So, the Kingdom of Denmark wants me to invade Norway with them. Well... You're at war currently with a chieftain here, a chieftain here, and now the king of Denmark. I don't think the king of Denmark would win, and I don't really want to get involved because I don't care about it. I'll accept, but I don't think I'll be doing much. We'll see what happens. Just going to siege that real quick. Boom. Done. Give me that. Thank you very much. Now, I don't think I'm going to really need these guys up, oh, so I'm just going to disband them. What I really want to do is actually try to invade Scotland. But Scotland has a couple of allies here. Bohemia. Oh, now that's interesting. Bohemia is over here. Oh, where's that? There we go. With four and a half thousand men. Hmm... Yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. What I should do, actually, is try to uh, improve my piety and stuff like that. The Normans are good people. Mm, I kind of want the prestige in this case. Just a little bit. What I want to do is request a claim on all of Ireland from the Pope. Devoted servant, if I have 2,000 piety, sheesh, that's going to be difficult. Hmm. Can't go on a pilgrimage because I'm at war. Alright. You can stay trusting. My daughter in ward, yeah, I suppose you can be trusting. Or content is alright. Fickle is eh. Let's go with content. Why don't I just destroy my stress level? Why not? Alright, I can get the, the trait Rackish. Ooh, what is this? Spend so much time in the brothel that has become a second home. Oh my lord. Hmm. I can convert the... To what? Oh, that is weird. Polisianism? I don't even know what that is. I'm actually curious now. Polisianism. No one is Polisianism is Polisianist. Or Polition. Huh. Okay. So I I could change to this. Do I want to? Not really. I think I would rather create my own church. 
So I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, such a wanton behavior has inherent risks. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure absolutely nothing bad's going to happen from that. Absolutely. Nothing could possibly happen. It's fine. Okay, alright, so we already have access to the Crusades here. Crusader Kings, Deus Vult. Let's see when the first Crusade is. My best guess is that we're going to go for Jerusalem over here. But we're going to find out. Okay. We're going to want some natural dread and control gain for all of my unruly counties. Because uh, you guys absolutely hate me. Oh, yeah. Alright. We can get some recruits here. Respected figurehead for a reinforcement rate is not bad. But just one holding, so I don't know. Or my prince could like me. Well, I might as well get a few levies. If nothing else. The faithful prepare for war. Alright, it's time to start a crusade. For Jerusalem. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Hmm. I'll fight. That's what I'll do. And I'm going to appoint my... Someone from my dynasty. My cousin? No. Half-sister? Maybe? I want someone from my dynasty to become the ruler of Jerusalem. And why not just make it English while we're at it? Sure. You can be my beneficiary. So, I sort of didn't explain too many things in the last episode, so my apologies. This is the Crusader mechanic here, where essentially if we have the most participation in here, then our beneficiary is going to uh, become the actual Queen of Jerusalem, which is quite nice. Uh, apparently I can also redirect the war for a cost of piety, so I can decide to, let's say, invade Aragon or something. But I don't think we're going to. It's kind of weird how I can select, like, any target. Can I select France? There's no way, right? That wouldn't make any sense, but I'm intrigued to see if I can. What's the French coat of arms? Oh, it's exactly what you'd expect. Bunch of fleur de lis. Okay. Uh, well, that's close, but not quite. Because, I mean, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to crusade against a uh, a fellow Christian, right? Anyone who knows what happened to Byzantium can tell you what, uh, what went on over there. Doesn't look like I can actually crusade against France, though, unfortunately. I would like to, but it's not really going to happen. So what's going on here? Well, we do not know who. Someone is plotting to kill my spy master. My what? So he just knows that he's gonna get killed. That's it. Really. Huh. That sucks. It's none of my business, though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're good at your job, so you should be able to, like, solve that yourself. Right? That would make sense. Holy warrior and skilled tactician. Ooh. That is interesting. Alright, can I declare on you for someone's claims? No. Many cl Oh, you have a lot of claims. You have a lot of claims, and you're allied with... Northamptonshire, which is actually part of my kingdom, so you can't do that. And Bohemia, which I, I don't think they'd ever reach here on time, actually. So why don't I invade Scotland? I think I will. Ah, I am pledged in a great holy war. That's true, this war will end inconclusively if they call the crusade. I don't think I'm going to be done in a few months, so... Uh, what's up here? You are at war with... Someone. A couple of chiefdoms? Oh, well, high chiefdom. But who? Over here, are you you telling me you have three and a half thousand soldiers? No way. 
Ah, 2,000 mercenaries. That would make a lot more sense. I'll accept it because it might just kick me out of these wars once we're done anyway. Looks like Denmark is slapping Norway around a lot harder than I thought they would. Do you have allies or something? No, but they're just crushing them. That's uncomfortable, but okay. It is what it is. You can be wrathful, or forgiving, or fickle. Well, my character is a little bit... Well, he's not wrathful, but he wouldn't encourage you to be forgiving, that's for sure. I feel like King William the Conqueror would definitely encourage you to be a strong character. And of course, it is time. Crusade for Jerusalem has begun. Alright, so we've won the war against... Oh, God. Ooh, that's a little uncomfortable, but at least he's on my side. Alright, so, the crusade for Jerusalem has begun. The music cranks itself up like three times. Which is always fun. Alright, off to the Holy Land we go. To land... I'm gonna land over here, I think, actually. Land in Byzantium. I like how on the map it shows this little charter thing. Oh, it's really nice. I like that a whole lot. Alright, 12 a month. Really? Oh, sheesh. Alright. So, we have gone ahead and converted another culture. Or converted another little province here to English here. So what are we looking at? Still mostly Anglo-Saxon, okay. I'm gonna want my direct holdings at least to be English. Because I really don't want to deal with all those problems. Definitely, is, I'm definitely gonna set you to this. Actually, does that change anything? Men at arms maintenance should decrease with that. Don't know if it does. Alright, who are you? You are apparently good at fighting. You know what? Yeah, come here. Sure, why not? Another perk here. Let's go for... Men at arms counter efficiency is usually pretty nice. I didn't really swap my men at arms to, uh, to suit the type of land that we're going towards. What do we have here? I can actually check, uh, I can check terrain over here pretty easily if I actually click it. So, uh, mostly drylands. Bit of desert, mostly drylands. And those are good for... Light horsemen. Which I have. Okay, nice. So my cavalry should be kind of effective over here in the Holy Land. What kind of participants do we have here? It looks like the Pope somehow has a disgusting number of soldiers. And then there's me. So, if I fight pretty well, I should have my dynasty on the throne of Jerusalem. And that's always exciting. Alright, martial prowess. I'll make these modifications myself. Is that the kind of character I am? Brave, diligent... Oh, yes, of course it is. Diligent character? Of course I would do something like that. Alright, who are we fighting, and where are they? Assistance is appreciated, so I get two diplomacy, or... Temporary three diplomacy. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Can I... Okay, it looks like when we landed here, it actually did decrease the cost. I'm worried I'm not going to get to participate in any battles, though. Oh, beautiful. I get the trait Crusader. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, off to a good start here. Hopefully we can get some business done here before the end of the episode. It's coming up soon. 384 casualties. Is that worth a stack wipe? No, not when I don't get the stack wipe. Okay, let's siege this down. Whoa, 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 hold on. There's the timer, but it looks like we have someone on the move here. Oh, 
How fast are you? Incredibly quick. I'm not going to catch you. Never mind. Yes, I am. My supply is running low, though. That is for sure. But it looks like, oh, immediate crushing victory. Alright. Now, the key to success here in Crusades is dealing a lot of casualties and winning a lot of battles, essentially. So if I fight you here, I would definitely win, but I would also lose. I wish that didn't obscure it. Uh, a couple of casualties. I'm guessing that is going to be like 300 or something. Stepping on there hurts, but if I win, the participation is massive. Beautiful. Okay. How are we doing? The crusade is looking good. My war contribution is 88%. <laughs> We're about to put our dynasty on the, on the Holy Land right here. This is going to be nice. Now, I could actually choose to become the... I could actually change characters, become the Queen of Jerusalem. But we do have a legacy to carry on here. A conqueror's legacy, you might say. So I'm going to try and make sure that I... Only have a few errors. First of all, I don't want everyone to be... Oh god, that is so expensive. I don't want everyone to be my heir. In fact, uh, it's actually better if you only have one heir, generally speaking. It does, you know, remove like a ton of renown points though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, which removes your ability to, to more easily get those legacies, but... As we have more people in positions of power, more dynasty members that is, then it becomes very simple to make that back. Right now, because we have a king and 25 living members, then we're gonna have, well, a whole lot. A whole lot of stuff here. And if we get the Queen of Jerusalem on here, that's gonna help us out a lot as well. All right, let's go and siege down this over here. Our participation is still first place, but we need to do something else. Uh, right, we're going to split it in half this way, because the other way doesn't work as well. Going to siege these for the last remaining war score and a bit of contribution. As long as we have above 50%, we're going to be in first place, but it can never help just to make things go a little bit faster. So, with the coming of age, my tuition of Ag Agath, Agath, perhaps? Is at an end. And you have become an astute intellectual. Mm, yes, very smart indeed. But do we have room for intelligence in this family? I don't think so. King William is not the most intelligent of, uh, of rulers here. But he sure does know how to crusade for the kingdom of Jerusalem. Just gotta wait for the... There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Adelaide de Normandy got the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Absolutely beautiful. So, now the House Normandy has two kings on the throne. Well, technically a queen, but I don't think they, they care to make that distinguishment. That just... I can't speak English. Don't even worry about it. Anyways, we got 880 prestige, 230 piety, and 471 gold. God damn, that is nice. St. George has granted Queen Adelaide victory in the Crusade for Jerusalem after defeating Caliph Al-Mustansir and his heathen warriors on several occasions. Our warriors forced the enemies of the faith to admit their... <sighs> the people who make these little speech things speak English much better than I do. Uh, ignominious. I don't even know what that means. But their ignominious defeat. Yes, very ignominious indeed, I guess. With the occupied lands firmly under the leadership of a pious Catholic ruler, we can rest assured that the divine will of St. George has been enacted. Alright, nice. So, Kingdom of Jerusalem complete. Beautiful. I will not play as Queen Adelaide of Jerusalem today, unfortunately. We have our own little uh, ambitions back home. Now, I can't get rid of these guys. 
can only disband in a friendly area. Are you telling me that my half-sister's kingdom is not a friendly area? That sounds a little stupid to me, but anyway. Alright, let's send them back home, I guess. In the quickest way possible. We can ransom a couple of prisoners. I have no need for you, so I might as well get a little bit of a little bit of gold out of this. Why not? I can imprison you, but that's not going to work very well. And I need to increase county control in a couple of my counties, which would happen to be Oxfordshire. There we go. Family members can be married, my daughter and, well, my other daughter. So you can be married off to... Well, I already have an alliance with you and with you. How about I try to get an alliance with... Well, not Scotland. That wouldn't make much sense then, would it? Hmm. Let's go for matrilineal. Oh, you would accept matrilineal too? Weird. Okay, well, as long as I can spread my dynasty, that's fine. And, again, with my other daughter here, matrilineal. Let's go for the petty kingdom of Brittany. Sounds fine to me. Because I can't declare war on you. Ah, but Brittany's very nice to invade. How about Venice? Sure. We'll go with Venice. And apparently when my vassal dies, we're going to lose a bit of land to the Duchy of Lothian, which is Scotland. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, with the crusade done, we can bump the music back up. There we go. Okay, nice. I'm going to figure something out. Between episodes, we're going to find out the next step in the Conqueror's Legacy. But today, we did quite a lot. We managed to... Well, Crusade for the Kingdom of Jerusalem, I'd say that's a lot. <laughs> and we installed one of our dynasty members on the throne, giving us extra renown, which is quite nice. But that's all we're going to have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a shout out to all of the patrons for the month of September. Especially those we have in the general tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, Torvalved, and Farron. Those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. Those in the King tier, Chewy Shoot and Corbite. In the Elector tier, we have Drunk Binary. And the Mad Lad in the Conqueror of Worlds tier is The Watcher. Thank you so much for your continued support and pledges, it means a lot to me, and you're helping to move this channel forward more than you know.